Hey everybody, how's it going tonight? Coach Jason with Arm Pitching Development. Tonight we're going to focus on the Thrower's 10 program. So what is the Thrower's 10 program? It is a strength and rehab conditioning exercises to help throwers get stronger, keep mobility and strength and power in their shoulder. A lot of times you'll see guys use this program coming into a, a rehab stint to help uh, get them back into order. We also use it as a maintenance protocol as well to keep and maintain strength and stability in the shoulder for all our pitchers. So tonight we're gonna cover that. Hey, if you wouldn't mind showing us a sign of support and hitting the subscribe button, uh, we would appreciate that for more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts. Okay, so number one on our throwers 10, we're going to do a diagonal extension. So what I'm going to do is take a knee here. Uh, you're going to have a high clip set. It'll start from high to low and work down across and then work it back up. Okay, so number two on our Thrower's 10 program, staying with the J-Bands. This is gonna be a diagonal flexion. So you'll start out uh, with a low clip and then work your way up from there. Again, keep your centered posture, uh, keep your shoulders back, and then you'll work the band back up and across and come back down and through. What I like to do here is actually kind of tempo it down just a little bit, more of a three, two, one, uh, relax pattern and then build up the strength back out and then come back down nice and controlled. Okay, so once you get done with uh, external flexion and internal uh, extension, we're gonna take the band, we're gonna hold it about hips height or so, and we're gonna do uh, external rotation. Uh, you see I've got a towel here. What I'm gonna do is actually place this under my armpit, and that'll kind of keep me bound and keep me disciplined with my elbow position. Uh, from this, I kind of find a neutral stance, just slightly outside of my hips. Again, keeping my posture uh, good and clean here, and then I'll just rotate out, and I almost pinch my shoulder blade together here in the back, and then return and then you'll wrap that a few times here until you feel fatigued. Number four on throwers 10. Again, we're gonna stay with the uh, clip around the hip height. We're gonna put our towel back under our armpit here and we're gonna go to internal rotation. Again, staying uh, squared up, staying in a good posture position, and then we're gonna rotate inward, keeping the shoulder nice and tight. All right, so number five on the thrower's 10 here, guys. We're gonna take the clip and we're gonna go up to around shoulder height. And we're gonna do external rotation from a 90 degrees perspective. I recommend probably putting it, uh, the cuff on if you have that. If you don't have the cuff, it's fine. But you're gonna stay inside here. What I like to do is kind of support myself and then work it back and up. So I kind of keep more of a, an upright position through my shoulders and I'm not sagging or dripping here. So trying to keep my posture straight up and down. Um, again, work this to fatigue until you feel pretty exhausted in the shoulder and then go ahead and shut it down from there. All right guys, number six is um, internal rotation. Uh, same as the external, we're just gonna reverse that, keeping the clip at shoulder height. Come up into a good neutral stance, keeping your posture Bring your elbows elevated, and then we're going to rotate down onto our elbow. OK, 
Okay, so also on this, friends, um, the way I was showing you guys here, um, internal and external rotation, when I have a guy that's rehabbing, I, I like to have them support just a little bit better here and build up. As you get stronger and you feel like you can support the elbow a little bit better, uh, and your posture will stay the same, we're gonna stay stacked and squared up, and what we can do is rotate it down from here, make sure we maintain elbow stability and strength through the shoulder as we rotate down and forward, okay? And the same thing will work from the backside when we go to external, as you're feeling stronger and your shoulder's building up, we'll keep the same approach, just working on the backside versus the front side, okay? So it's important to build up the strength and not just go into your heaviest rep. Uh, the other thing is remember that it's not always about the strength of the rep, it's about the quality of the rep as well to, in order to get you guys functioning quicker and to maintain uh, strength, stability, and mobility in the joint. Okay, so on the second part of this, we're gonna bring in some five pound plates. You can do dumbbells, you can do um, soup cans if you need to. Hey, the important thing really though, before we get off the banding that we just covered, make sure that you can handle the bands first um, and get through quite a bit of, of reps in, in a quality of rep versus uh, jumping right into the, the strength side or the power side building, which is the, the adding the weight. So I just wanna make sure that we're clear that we're gonna, we're gonna actually build up using the bands first before you head into uh, the weight side of it. So anyways, going right into it, continuing on with our Thrower's 10 program, uh, lift here and then uh, control it back down. So it's a simple lift guys, uh, just nice and controlled. It doesn't have to be much, especially if you're, if you're hurting in your shoulders, uh, if you got some sort of shoulder pain you're trying to rehabilitate, but don't rapid fire your rep. Try to be nice, smooth and controlled with it, okay? On the second part of this, we're gonna come up front on our 90s here and back down. Nice and simple again, nice and controlled lift. The third part of this one, we're gonna run this on pronation. Uh, so we're gonna turn our thumbs inward here and then really isolate the back side of the shoulder and working up and down. Almost like a inverted uh, Y or a V frame here. Again, work on keeping your posture straight, uh, keeping your back, engaging the shoulder blades just a little bit more there. Uh, really working controlled reps versus speed of reps and build your volumes up on these. Yeah, you know, I wanna add in one more to that on um, the uh, tees that we were doing, the front side, and then we were doing the pronations. I actually wanna add supination on there and we're going to bring our thumbs upward and then come up into Y again, controlling, keeping your posture straight as well as you go into that. Okay, we're gonna go into our third part, uh, the, the weightlifting piece of this. I brought out the, uh, the stability ball here. Let me use this to lay on. So what you can do, you can get a table or you know some sort of a platform that you can lay your chest on. Uh, come out and basically we're gonna do an IYT circuit here. I like the stability ball because it forces me to uh, activate my abductors a little bit more. Uh, so coming out, we're gonna go into a Y lift here, pinch your shoulder blades together and then come back down. Again, nice and controlled. Once you get off that, we can work out an eyes. Bring it up in front. Okay, and then you can work back out to T's and pinch your shoulder blades together as you're coming up. The other ones we can do is uh, e external rotations uh, in prone. So we're coming up and raising back here from the back side of the shoulder. All right, continuing on here, uh, we're gonna go into a tricep extension, working the backside of the arms. What I like to do is come into uh, more of a split squat stance on these, just so I, I feel more powerful in my position. I'm gonna bring my elbows back here behind me, and then I'm gonna raise up the weights as I go back. Again, you wanna be mindful of uh, having good posture through your lift and be nice and controlled as well. Again, work this out till you feel fatigued uh, from the exercise. 
There's no number limit, it's what you can handle. And from there, we're gonna go in and we're gonna do a row. Um, if you don't have a weight or a soup can, or you can even do these free-handed. Uh, it's just about the number of reps and doing the right reps. So I'm gonna use the stability ball here uh, for uh, just a little added uh, element to, to the drill. What I'm gonna do is start down to, and bring the elbow into my side here. And as I do that, I'm gonna keep the uh, elbow outside and then I'm gonna go up into a, a prone shoulder lift right there. So we'll come back in tight, elbow out, rotate back up. Down, back into the lat, extend out, rotate back up. All right, now we're moving on to elbow flexion. Again, start into a more neutral stance, good posture. We're gonna keep the weights down by our sides. We're gonna come up, bring the weights in and up. As we come back down, we're gonna be nice, slow, and controlled as we bring the weights back down, turn them back in, and then proceed back up as we go. And again, control, turn it back in, bring it back up. Again, run those as much as you can handle in terms of volume. We don't need to overweight these things. Uh, we're building strength in numbers, not strength of uh, weightlifting. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, so we're winding down here on the Throwers 10 program to help you guys get back on the field a little bit faster and get back to pitching what we love. So we're gonna take a five pound weight on this one, guys, working uh, elbow flexion and extension. So again, I'm using the stability ball. All we're gonna do is rotate the wrist down and bring it back up and do that until you start to feel fatigue on your forearm, and then we'll turn it over, and then we're gonna lift the wrist pattern up and down. Okay, again, working that to fatigue. Once you feel good on that, we're gonna go into supination here, where we're bringing the thumb up and out and rotating the wrist to the side. Nice and controlled on that, especially if you're having elbow discomfort or elbow pain. This will be really good to help us uh, uh, build up stability in the elbow joint as well. Then we're gonna go into pronation, guys, rotating the weight down and then back up to neutral. And down and neutral. Again, work that out to fatigue. Okay, so the last piece of this, guys, on our Throwers 10 program, back to, uh, back to the mound. Strength, stability, mobility in the shoulders. I'm getting back into throwing arm action. We're gonna hit the push-ups. So we're gonna stay inside here, a more of an internal rotation from the hands perspective. Again, good posture in your back. Nice, slow and controlled down, and then bringing back up. Again, do that as many times as you can until you start feeling fatigued. Once we're done with that part, we're gonna do one other thing. We're gonna come over to a box or a chair or some table or something that you can lift up and support yourself on. You'll go from a seated position, bring your feet out. What you'll do is you'll lift your feet up off the ground and then lift yourself up here and then back down. Back up, back down. Really working support in the uh, shoulder joint there. Guys, uh, thank you for viewing tonight. I hope you enjoy the Throwers 10 program and I hope you see success from it and benefits uh, for really getting your shoulder uh, maintenance done, uh, keeping yourself healthy out there as a baseball pitcher or just a baseball thrower in general. It doesn't matter the position, but other than that, uh, that that's a great rehab assignment uh, workout for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, uh, again, for showing support. Don't forget to amplify your mechanics and grow your pitching knowledge. Again, you're gonna do this by hitting the subscribe button. I'm Coach Jason, and I'll see you next time.